Well, hello again, everyone. Are we coming today to the eighth service in our YouTube series, the beginning of week nine of the COVID-19 lockdown. And at last, there seems to be some degree of optimism that we might uh, soon be able to resume church services. Of course, there'll have to be social distancing and rules adhered to. But I think that the sooner it happens, the better. So with this new hope, we offer our worship to God today. And we give him thanks that uh, the COVID-19 uh, doesn't seem to be spreading at an alarming rate. That in fact the uh, number of infections seems to be slowing down. With all of that in mind, we turn to Psalm 96. I'm going to use the B version of the psalm and the stanzas 3 to the end. The psalm begins with the call to worship God and in stanza 3 it says, Give to the Lord, O families of peoples, give to the Lord the glory for his strength. Ascribe the glory due his name and bring an offering with you. Enter his courts in two. Today we are still unable to gather in the meeting house as we would like to. But that doesn't stop us offering our worship to God. Wherever we are today, we can worship. But the psalmist here speaks of giving God the glory to his name. How can we do that in our living rooms? Or wherever we are. Well of course it's all to do with uh, the attitude of our hearts and minds as we worship. Not just merely going through a rote, following a procedure or some set down rules. Worship comes from the heart. And it's the sentiment that we feel genuinely in our hearts. That is our worship to God. Think for a moment about whom we do worship. We worship God. The one and only God. The creator of all things. The one who rules the universe. Who is in control of the nations. Who governs the life even of the humblest of creatures. As the Bible tells us not even a sparrow falls to the ground without God knowing it. Let's fill our hearts with admiration for this God and love for his creation. Let us open our minds to receive his word and to sing this psalm in appreciation of everything that he has done for us. Let us praise God together. 